Breaking news, what began as a sex scandal that ruined the political careers of state representatives Cindy Gamrat and Todd Corser enters a new phase today as former lawmakers head to court to face state charges. No one is above the law, not even those who walk in the halls of power. And that was Attorney General Bill Schuette last week talking about the charges filed by his office against Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat. Right now, Gamrat and Corser have to face those charges in a Lansing District Court. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Let's get to local force. Evrod Kasmi joins us now in the newsroom with this breaking news. Uh, what's the latest? What happens next? Well, Rhonda, the story of former state representative Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat is changing a bit today. They were embarrassed by a sex scandal last year, but today, they're being charged with felonies in connection with that whole scandal. The two Republican lawmakers who both got strong support from Tea Party members admitted to having an extramarital affair, but they were accused of covering it all up, and that led to Corser resigning from the legislature and Gamrat being expelled. Now the state attorney general has charged Gamrat and Corser with misconduct in office, and Corser faces an additional charge of lying under oath. All those charges are felonies, and a very tearful Cindy Gamrat arrived in court about about 40 minutes ago. She said nothing during the proceeding, though. While her attorney entered a not guilty plea, Gamrat was freed on a personal recognizance bond, and she has a pretrial examination that's set for March 15th. After she left, Todd Corser arrived in court, where he's also expected to be freed on bond. He's going to have a preliminary examination hearing date set. And local force Rod Maloney is going to be covering this story for us as it unfolds this afternoon in Lansing, and he'll have live updates on local four newscasts a little bit later today. So you'll definitely want to stick around for that. Rhonda? Absolutely. So, uh, Evrod, you mentioned that these charges are felonies. So are we talking about prison time for Corser and Gamrat if they're convicted? Well, that is what the law calls for, Rhonda. And conviction on charges of misconduct in office can bring a sentence of up to five years in prison. Then the perjury charge against Corser has a maximum sentence of 15 years in prison. So it's very clear that these are very serious charges for both of these former lawmakers. And again, Rob Maloney following the very latest in this story. So you'll definitely want to stick around for that. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Evrod.